welcome back to Focus on Five, where we are celebrating 70 years of WNEM TV5. Please enjoy this look back at TV5's rich history and legendary broadcasters who have made us who we are today. Well, News 5 will again be broadcasting live by satellite tomorrow at noon and again at 6. Let's join Jim Kurtzner and Lorna Barrett now with a preview of what's ahead. Indeed, looky who's out here with us. You're going to be I'm here at noon the tomorrow. Studio. Yeah, we've got a lot to show you tomorrow. Jill Wellington will show us what it's like to run a bed and breakfast in. Also, contrary to AAA reports, the color in this area is fantastic. We'll take you on a color tour, and Mark will show us another golf uh, area. Our live coverage via satellite from Traverse City continues this noon hour. Coming up, Traverse City is a famous resort town. We'll show you how a bed and breakfast inn is run. Our Jim Kirstner, who's just behind me, will take us boating. We'll take you on a spectacular fall color tour. Sports director Mark Wesley will show us another of Traverse City's many golf courses. And Chuck will bring us the weather from along the bay. All that plus the news coming up live via satellite from Traverse City. Good afternoon, I'm Lorna Barrett, and this is News 5 at Noon for Thursday, October 16th, live via satellite from Traverse City. Well, we've traded the view of our Saginaw studio this afternoon, and what you're looking at now is a shot of our Jim Kirstner, who's out on a boat on the west arm of the Grand Traverse Bay, and he'll be joining us again in the show a little later on. We're again in the Lake States building in Traverse City. Now, the weather, as you see, is somewhat overcast today, but the city is still very much alive. And we'll have a lot more sights to show you coming up later on in the show. But first, here are just some of the stories topping the news this noon hour. Well, authorities in Bay County have closed Interstate 75 between Wilder Road and M84. Now, a semi carrying hazardous materials has rolled over. Now, the truck is carrying several barrels of material described as a resin. The warning label on the barrel says do not let it get into temperatures below 40 degrees. Now with those barrels, authorities are trying to deal with those barrels and other chemicals on the truck. Now residents are advised to stay away from the area at I-75 between Wilder and M-84. Now our Lynn Carthane is standing by live right now in Bay County. Lynn, what's the story out there? Well, right now, Lorna, I just got your cue that you were listening or to looking for me. Here I am. We're on Bay... or. Uh... I-75 just south of Bay City at US-10. The truck has turned over. Dow Chemical has some people out here analyzing some of those chemicals. They don't know what they are at this point. Uh, when they do begin analyzing those, we will have to move immediately. The wind is blowing a little bit and they're worried that some of that may blow over here in our direction. If some of those chemicals do catch on fire, they are also very dangerous. Um, at this point, no one knows what they are. They're in the process of trying to figure out just what they are. And that's all. Okay, Lynn, we'll be expecting a full have more for you tonight at 6. But right now, we go back out to Jim Kirstner, who's out on the bay. And Jim, I know there are a lot of people back home who would love to be where you are about right now. Well, Michigan is a great boating state, and if you're a boater, I probably don't have to tell you that Traverse City is one of the best areas for the sport. Now, I know I don't have to tell our Jim Kurtzner, who joins us again from the bay, and he's right over there. And Jim, I haven't been on a boat in years. What am I missing? Well, we have more news and more of Traverse City to show you coming up tonight at 6, and we go back out to Jim, who will fill us in on the stories that are coming up tonight. Okay, thanks, Jim. And that's all the time we have for this News 5 at Noon report live via satellite from Traverse City. For myself, Chuck Waters, Mark Wesley, and the crew who's been working very hard, thanks for watching, and we'll see you tonight at 6 o'clock.